this is a 3V. A 3V D V C U V V C system. 5deck.com sells a book that shows you how it works and much more awesome stuff. It's called How to Make a Hulu Deck. Or, uh, a Hulu Deck. And it has a free page that gives you the files and instructions to make your own mini 3V just like this one. Okay, I call this RGB Cube because it will show a red, green, and blue cube when you look at it through a bright light. I was originally going to call it RGB for Really Great Box but I thought that might be misinterpreted. So it works by lots of little printed image images that mimic what you would see through a bunch of pinholes made with this pinhole making contraption. The unfolded paper is here. There you go. I cut it up, then folded, glued, and taped Crude pine up, pine up, pine up, pine up, pi final product you see here. Yes, pop stains, uh, pieces of paper covering up holes. Not so, so yes. Lots of DIY flavoring. It seems pretty unimpressive. However, further into this video, we'll, you will discover the true truth. This object, made entirely with four printed sheets of office paper, White cardboard paper, black card paper, 8th inch matte, black tape finish, art, nah. super glue, gel style, normal super glue and paste, can project a 3D object into space from any angle. Before we look at the actual projection, let me draw a picture of what you will be seeing soon. Oh. What's this? This is a picture. I drew this picture of a totem of living foodstuffs next to the sun. And uh, the earth and moon combined somehow. And a yin-yang. I don't get it. Anyway, here's what it's going to look like. So, it's going to have a big red box like this. I'm sorry, four front red legs. Then there's going to be four green legs that go like this into infinity. And there's going to be four blue back ones, like so. And the black piece of sheet stuff thing, 3V, is going to be right here. It'll be projecting slightly past the sheet. So it'll look kind of like that, if there, if there was a real cube there. And that's what it should appear as. By the way, these are the original crayons. The book was drawn with these crayons. These crayons are legendary. I don't know if that might be a little exaggerating. I mean, if my wife was here to vote, she probably, it probably wouldn't go through. And then, you know, I might vote for the microwave instead. So, so I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, it's this cube with four legs, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Oopsie doo, don't look at our house. It's messy. I vacuumed a little path with messes on both sides. So it looks like it's all clean. Oh, what, what, what's that? Oh, what's it? It's a snake. No, it's just a speaker. Okay. Oh, oh, spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Oh, I'm going to have some of that. I'm going to have me some spaghetti. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Oh, give me... Oh, wait. This is dangerous. This is metal. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, much better. Oh, mmm. 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 Mmm, 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 Oh, that was delicious. Also, by the way, if you're wondering, the reason that I eat electrical wires, it is because I am a robot. There's a light. Let's show this cube. Yeah, it's a cube. The three different colors make it pretty obvious where the front, back, and sides of the cube are. If you rotate it a lot, you can kind of see the... Uh, the bars that go backwards. And the blue is in the front and the red is in the back. I did that because red is brighter than blue and so I wanted the back to be more apparent. Also, if you shake it, it kind of makes it, it look more like a real cube. That's because of persistence of vision. I can also shake the camera a little bit. We'll try that. 
This cube, there's a little light coming through on the sides, but that's just extra light because these pyramids aren't perfect. Also, the pyramids in general, interestingly, you can kind of see the cube through the back. That's strange, actually, but, well, I suppose it makes sense. The pinhole is shining light through onto part of the, each pyramid, and so that part of the pyramid is lit through, although it's not as bright. Anyway, the pyramid's made out of paper, and paper you need to shine a brighter light on. So a grand lens can just have natural light in theory, but this will need some sort of stronger light, or at least a relative difference between the light that's on it and the light around it. Yay. Oh, that's too bright. It's been in all my videos. It's, uh, you normally think it was just a spare tire. Originally it was going to turn out that it was my wife, and I kept mentioning that the tire was, you know, I was talking about my wife, but it was really a tire, and I'm a psycho, which I'm not. I love you. I don't really love you. However, I decided that that was getting a little too weird for an otherwise stable, healthy video one-way relationship I have with you. What? What did you say? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just roll away if you have to. I don't care about you anymore. I'm sick of her. Okay, anyway, before we finish, uh, I should show you some... Uh, okay, I'm all done. Here we are outside. I am going to go door to door and show people this amazing awesomeness. And, okay, we're going to see the reactions. I'm, I'm really nervous, but let's do it anyway. Okay, let's start with the first house here. Okay. Nobody's answering. I suppose I should give them more than a second. Oh, this is taking forever. Okay. okay, maybe I should just go... Wait a minute. This is my house. Okay, you know, this isn't going to work. I don't think... Okay, I'm not even in there, so why would I be impressed by my own design? Uh, let's see. Okay, one last thing. Anyway, you watch this video and you don't know what a hula deck is. It's, it's this. No, no. Yeah, yeah, look, it's better than that. Anyway, uh, you don't know how it works, but does that mean you shouldn't buy the book just because you don't want to know or want to have one? No, you can buy the book for only eleven ninety nine, a black and white copy, and have two premium bookends. That's right. For only 599 pennies and one half of one penny a piece, you can uh, make a bookend. You just cut it in half and... And there you go. There's instructions on my Twitter page. Uh, you can find it linked from 5 com if you go there. Welcome is what the website doesn't say. But you should feel welcome. And, um, yeah, have fun. This video is brought to you by his real wife and planking. Look, I'm planking! I'm glad you finally rolled your other wife over the curb.